Well, welcome back to Focus 4. I want to read you some interesting, uh, amazing baseball stats. 317 lifetime average, 3,000 hits, 240 home runs, 1,305 RBI. These are some amazing stats from a local hero of a no, long time ago. I have to stop you. That doesn't really mean a whole lot to me as a woman who doesn't follow baseball very much, but those numbers sound very well, good and very high. They are very high. I mean, 315 lifetime or 317 lifetime average is uh, pretty significant uh, for baseball. But that's a local hero, uh, somebody who brought championships to Pittsburgh uh, almost 30 years ago, uh, Roberto Clemente. Okay, well, I know that name. You know that name. There's a bridge <laughs> in Pittsburgh named after the late, great Roberto. And not only was he a great baseball player, but he was a great man. And there's actually a movie being made called Baseball's Last Hero, the Roberto Clemente story. And with us here on Focus 4, we have Richard Rossi, who is the writer, director, producer. Uh, you're the whole package with this movie coming out. And I want to know, why are you making a movie about Roberto Clemente? Um, when, well, I grew up in Pittsburgh, and I was nine years old when he died, and I cried my eyes out for days. I, he was my hero. Mm -hmm. Probably just about every Scooby-Doo, baby boomer guy my age, sure. you know, when we played Little League. I've seen home movies where I'm nine playing Little League, and I'm going like this, because Clemente had these neck and back things, and we're <laughs> all trying to be Roberto Clemente. We all fight over who would play right field or be 21. So when he died, I was so devastated. I was crying and crying. I started writing stories about him. So I've been writing stories about him. I, at school, when I had, had a composition assignment, I would write a story about Roberto. So I've been wanting to make this movie since I was nine. I guess I can give away my age. That I'm, that's like 40 years, almost 40 years now. So sure. it's kind of a dream come true to shoot the movie. Well, um, you know, Roberto Clemente uh, died tragically mm -hmm. um, way ahead of his time. Uh, but he wasn't just a great baseball player. He was a great man of God. Yes, he was. Yeah. Uh, can you give us some insight on some of the things that he went through uh, in, in the early stages of, of his career mm -hmm. back in 1955, coming up as a, uh, a foreign player coming into Major League Baseball, mm -hmm. dominantly white at that time. That's right. Uh, something a little unique uh, for baseball. Uh, what were some of the things he dealt with uh, here in Pittsburgh early on in his career? Well, there was a lot of racism. We're going to show that aspect, um, that he was kind of a Jackie Robinson for not only being black, but Latin, Latin American. And um, he had a passion for civil rights, because in Puerto Rico, where he was from, he said, we, we're all friends. You know, I can eat anywhere. I can date anyone. And he actually, a lot of people don't know, met with uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King and about civil rights. So he had a real passion for it. Um, one time the pirates were in the south and the white players could eat in the restaurant but the black players could not eat. Sure. So the white players, you know, trying to be, be of service and get them some food says, you know what guys, we'll, we'll order from, we'll bring some back to the bus. Roberto said no. If, he said to the black players, if any of you take any of this food, you're going to deal with me hmm. because he saw the larger picture. We have to fight this injustice. Sure. And um, he went through a lot. They used to make fun. The Pittsburgh press were terrible to him they would spell out phonetically to make fun of his accent. So mm -hmm. if he said the word sister, they would spell it out S, like sister, S-E-E-S-T-E-R. -E -E yeah. And if he made a great play in those days at the wall and threw someone out at the plate, the headline would read Puerto Rican hot dog showboating. You know, if it was Pete Rose, it would be Charlie Hustle. Mm -hmm. You know, what a great effort. So he, he did deal with a lot, and he was a great man of God. The theme of our film is John 15, 13, which says, Greater love has no man than to lay down his life for his friends. Because he realized, after proving he was the greatest player, God was calling him to something else. He wanted to die giving, and he died in this mission trip, and as you know, to Nicaragua. Yeah, you take know, the one thing I really admire about Roberto Clemente is, you know, he was this famous, famous baseball star hero. Mm -hmm. Whatever, you know, you could call him so many things. But he really had his priorities in check, you know. Yeah. He... He probably had a, a decent amount of money, you mm -hmm. know, he had the fame, but yet he was willing to go back to Nigeria and help these people. And are you going to show some of that in your movie? Absolutely, yeah. He did the baseball clinics uh, with these same children that were devastated by, by the earthquake. He did the, in Nicaragua and Puerto Rico. And um, New Year's Eve was a holiday 
for Puerto Ricans and a day you spend with family, you don't leave your family. And so it was a struggle for him, but he felt, look, you know, Jesus laid down his life for us. I can help these people because the dictator wasn't letting the food and the medical supplies get to the victims. Mm -hmm. But he said, if Roberto Clemente goes in there with his plane, I will get the food. I will get the medical supplies to the people. And so he said, I have to go. Jesus wants me to go. So, so he really left the comforts of who he became. I mean, he, he wasn't changed uh, as a man, but his fame obviously grew with with all the accolades involved, you know, mm -hmm. winning two world championships here in Pittsburgh, right, which yeah. uh, we haven't seen in <laughs> quite some time. <laughs> yes, um, since I think 79, I 79, think. 79, yeah. a, a little bit too long. And uh, <clears throat> so he left the confines of that, of being so comfortable and, and really uh, stepping out and, and doing something that maybe wasn't the most popular thing, but he felt it necessary and mm -hmm. given you know, given the fame that he did acquire through playing baseball allowed him to do this. Yeah. Uh, what do you hope people get out of the film? Well, I hope it inspires um, young people. We're going to be going into schools um, all over. Um, the actor playing Roberto is an Olympian, a 2004 Olympian, uh, Jamie Nieto, and we're going to be going in schools, uh, disadvantaged areas, and show the film and try to inspire kids that here's a true hero. Because now baseball, you hear so much about steroids and greed Here's a guy that when he had a chance to go to cities maybe with more media attention, more money, more media, like New York Yankees, uh, like you said, uh, he said, no, we're a team. I have to be loyal to my team. I have to be loyal. He said, these Pittsburghers, they work in the steel mills. They spend their money to come see me at the play. I, have to, I can't just run off to more money. So he had this ethic that was amazing, really, a mm -hmm. true hero. He would, uh, whenever he'd go in a city, the first thing he'd do is he would go through letters from sick kids when they go to a new city to play and read these letters and schedule time to get to the children's hospitals to meet with them to pray with these kids and when he would get his big bonus he would cash it into money and he would literally sit in poor sections and people would line up and he would hand out money to people wow. yeah so it's gonna be a great film great story absolutely yeah. I mean especially you know it's definitely something uh, sports you know athletes today really can can look at that and say you know what he was a great player but more importantly he was a great well, man i want to hear how you found the person to play this yeah. larger than life roberto clemeni how did you come about finding jamie it was a miracle oh i tell you i had lost faith i was oh ye of little faith was me because i i said to my wife i said to sherry i said i don't think i'm going to find this person because he was black and hispanic so I would get Hispanic actors that weren't black, and then I would get black actors coming in that did not have that Hispanic cultural vibe. And then I would get guys that were perfect, but they were kind of these theater guys, and when I would take them out on the baseball field, no offense, but they threw like a girl, you know. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, okay. uh, you know. And so here I was ready to give up, and this woman Facebook friends me. Facebook, I got raised the money to start shooting on Facebook, and almost everything for this film has come on Facebook. This Spanish woman says, God's told me to intercede for your project. Can I be your Facebook friend? And I said, sure. I've never met her to this day. And then she contacted Jamie, who was 2004 Olympian high jumper, and says, God's told me to intercede for you, and I think the, that you're supposed to audition for this film. He was in Europe at a big um, uh, uh, you know, pre-Olympic event, and he left the meet and got on a plane to, to make the audition. Wow. And he barely made it. And um, now when he auditioned, I gotta be honest, I, maybe I should have been more bright and done my research. I had no idea he was also an Olympic athlete, that he was an amazing yeah. athlete. Mm -hmm. I just thought, oh, he looks like Roberto. Yeah. His audition moved me to tears and he's perfect. And I cast him, I found out later he's this Olympian athlete and he's just perfect, you know. And then I found out also that he was a, a, a Christian who was on fire for the Lord. Um, we, we always start before we shoot every day like we just did before this taping. We always pray mm -hmm. with, with the entire cast and crew. And, uh, you know, not everyone that is participating in our film uh, may be used to that. Mm -hmm. But even some folks that told me they were agnostic or whatever, I say, you know, I really like that prayer circle thing sure. we do before we mm -hmm. start shooting. I feel something there. I, I mm -hmm. think I felt God. I feel, so, so it touches people. And... I think it's great from filmmaking because we're so unified when we do that, mm -hmm. you know, working together. But um, he has, you know, prayed for me on set. When I had a, one of the first days shooting, I had a visual problem where I lost, I got a blackout kind of in my right eye that I've since 
doing better and I had some treatment for it. And so I was afraid, like, I have to be the director and visually see, and all of a sudden mm -hmm. I have this eye thing. He said, I'm going to pray healing for you. And right away he laid hands on my eye and prayed for Jesus to heal me and touch wow. me. I thought, wow, this is, and he just has such a beautiful heart. You know, he oh, sees that we want to share the gospel mm -hmm. through the film. Absolutely. Such a great testimony, too. Yeah. And I'm sure, you know, working in film and in the film industry and being in California, it, it can be hard to not always have that encouragement around you. But right. to have someone working alongside you so closely, yeah. you can build those relationships with people. Yeah. I think that's really neat. Coming up on the yeah. end of the segment here, where can people get more information, not just on Baseball's Last Hero, the Roberto Clemente story, but also some of your other projects, your book, uh, Stick Man, yeah. uh, that's come out. Where can they, uh, viewers at home that might be interested, uh, where can they go to get some more information on some of the things that you've worked on? Um, well, my book and, and soundtrack, Stick Man, this is a coming of age story about, um, this is the soundtrack, and this is the book. This is about a boy growing up in Pittsburgh who loves Roberto Clemente, and uh, that's on Amazon.com. It's doing really well. They could just put in Stick Man, Richard Rossi at Amazon. The film uh, does have a Facebook site, which is um, facebook.com slash Clemente movie. Um, but they could Facebook friend request me too, sure. Richard Rossi at Facebook. Um, my Facebook's facebook.com slash Richard Rossi actor, A-C-T-O-R. Um, but if they put Richard Rossi in Facebook, they'd probably recognize me, hopefully. If they're very computer savvy, they can go yeah. onto YouTube and they can look up some of this Roberto Clemente yeah. footage and yes. watch some of the the um, interviews and yeah. some of the scenes, so looks good. Absolutely. Yeah, well, Richard, you. we can't wait for the movie to come out. Thank uh, for you. More I can't wait than, to show uh, you. Just being a nice local interest in one of our uh, baseball heroes, but also for the impact that it uh, will, that we're expecting to have on people's oh, lives. You. So we'll be praying for the, the project. It'll be completed later this year. I encourage you to go check it out, uh, the progress along the way of the Roberto Clemente story. Well, thank you so much, Richard. Oh, it's thank been, you a, it's so been much. a pleasure. Thank and, you uh, so we're much. We're really looking forward yeah. to the movie uh, coming out. Hey, we got a lot more coming your way. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.